Since its early days as a hardcore, semi-realistic military shooter, to its current incarnation as an intense, action-oriented online game, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon series has entertained shooter fans the world over. Now, Ubisoft has announced the upcoming Ghost Recon Wildlands, a game that will move the franchise back to the semi-realism of the early PC games while expanding the playable area into a massive open world for the first time in the series' history. We at Gamers are going to take a look back at the history of the Ghost Recon franchise as we look forward to the future of the series. After the relative success of realistic tactical shooter Rainbow Six and its expansions, Red Storm and Ubisoft moved the genre forward leaps and bounds with Ghost Recon in 2001. The franchise was a hit with critics and gamers alike as its moderately difficult campaign and robust multiplayer features redefined what the tactical shooter genre could do. The game allowed players to take a persistent team of characters through an engaging campaign throughout a tense European political crisis, with each mission more difficult than the last. Following up on the success of Ghost Recon, Ubisoft published three expansions, Desert Siege, Island Thunder, and Jungle Storm, the latter of which was only published for PlayStation 2. Each of these titles brought the series' tense gameplay to a new theater of operations and slowly evolved and deepened the gameplay of the series in preparation for the future of the franchise. Delta 3-1, this is Ghost Leader. We're a go. Hit them now. Give me that, Ghost Leader. Strangely, Ubisoft and Red Storm decided to move the series in an entirely different direction with the console-only sequel, Ghost Recon 2. The series moved to a third-person action-oriented affair, stripping out much of the tactical thought and strategy the first games required. However, the game did enhance the multiplayer component, setting the stage for games to come to build upon Ghost Recon 2's excellent online mode. The game was supported with a single expansion, Summit Strike, that furthered the series' emphasis on a robust, unique multiplayer component. In 2006, the series moved to what was then considered next-gen hardware, as well as returning to the PC with Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Though the game is arguably less difficult and punishing than previous games, like the original PC implementation, it reintroduced a greater tactical challenge to the franchise after the more linear Ghost Recon 2. But the Advanced Warfighter formula wasn't fully realized until Advanced Warfighter 2 was released the following year. The game continued the series' focus on a strong multiplayer element while giving players more tactical options as they play out the single-player narrative or battle with friends in the cooperative or competitive multiplayer modes. After the successful Advanced Warfighter experiment, the main Ghost Recon games went on hiatus for five years, allowing the series to expand with a barrage of spin-offs. Ghost Recon Predator had mixed success in bringing the game to the PlayStation Portable, while Ghost Recon Shadow Wars wowed critics with its exciting turn-based gameplay for the Nintendo 3DS, though the game was a far cry from the gritty realism of early Ghost Recon titles. In addition, a game simply titled Ghost Recon for the Nintendo Wii failed to excite gamers with its mediocre third-person action gameplay. Finally, in 2012, the series returned to some of its former glory with Ghost Recon Future Soldier, a more action-oriented third-person affair than the original PC games or the Advanced Warfighter games. While the game once again de-emphasized the tense realism of early Ghost Recon titles, it was still a fun action game in its own right, and it successfully brought the series back into the limelight after a period of relative inactivity. The most recent release in the series, Ghost Recon Phantoms, brought a greater focus on team-oriented class-based tactical gameplay. The game was free to play on the PC, making money for Ubisoft through hundreds of dollars worth of in-game DLC, causing Ubisoft to draw criticism for the sheer volume and cost of in-game equipment and upgrades. Against the backdrop of Ghost Recon's storied history throughout the past 15 years, Ubisoft has just announced the upcoming Ghost Recon Wildlands to be developed by Ubisoft Paris. Stating that the game would take place in a massive, dangerous, and responsive open world, the announcement revealed the game would be playable in both solo and two-to-four-player cooperative modes. 
Moving back toward a more realistic take on current weapons and other military technology, the game will have players take on the role of the ghosts as they intervene in a deadly drug war in the heart of Bolivia. Letting players use drones for surveillance or as unmanned attack vessels, decide which factions to ally with and how to interact with locals, and freely choose which weapons to equip the ghosts with for the various missions are just some of the tantalizing possibilities Ubisoft has teased so far. The exciting reveal trailer promises a return to and expansion of the more open approaches that were viable in early Ghost Recon titles, letting players decide which way to tackle an objective and how lethal their approach should be. But players should be careful before they go in with guns blazing as drawing too much attention to the ghosts or killing one too many locals can have dire consequences throughout the course of the campaign. In addition to allowing greater player freedom for tackling key objectives, the game also promises a whole host of side missions that players will have to prioritize and execute in whatever order they wish. Drawing on Ubisoft's experience with other open shooters like Far Cry, there will likely be a slew of hidden easter eggs and other unlockables for players that just have to see absolutely everything a game has to offer. All in all, Ghost Recon Wildlands looks like a promising return to glory for the franchise, but we won't know for sure until the game hits current generation consoles and Windows computers in March of 2017. Until then, for all things Ghost Recon, keep it locked to gamers.